They are a key element in our nation's food supply and became one of the hardest hit industries early on. COVID-19 outbreaks spread quickly through meat packing plants nationwide. Tonight, Siouxland News anchor Larry Wentz revisits some of the biggest in our region. In the spring of 2020, meatpacking plants across the Midwest became the first hotspots for COVID-19 in the country. One of the earliest outbreaks was in March at Smithfield Foods in Sioux Falls, where at least 1,300 of the plant's 2,700 employees tested positive and four had died by September. The plant shut down in April after reporting its first positive case on March 24th. A team from the CDC visited the plant saying they could not find important information on COVID-19 for employees, where more than 40 different languages were spoken. And Smithfield was cited by OSHA for failing to provide a workplace free from recognized hazards. An outbreak reported at the Tyson Foods plant in Dakota City, Nebraska, made the Sioux City metro area one of the fastest growing COVID-19 hotspots in the country last spring. The plant suspended operations on May 1st after more than 750 of its 4,300 employees tested positive and at least two died. The plant implemented stronger preventative measures and more testing, reopening a short time later. Storm Lake in Buena Vista County, home to two Tyson food plants, also saw an outbreak of COVID-19 in the spring. 22% of the workforce had tested positive, shutting down the larger of the two plants on May 29th. Because of the outbreak, Buena Vista County became one of the fastest growing hotspots for COVID in the nation in early June. At least one lawsuit has been filed against the company over the death of an employee. Seaboard Triumph Foods in Sioux City kept its operations moving throughout the pandemic in spite of an outbreak at the facility where at least one employee died from COVID. In April, the plant reported at least 120 cases among its 2,400 employees. In the fall of 2020, a judge ruled that the working conditions at the plant were unsafe and detrimental after some workers filed a lawsuit. Other outbreaks were reported at meatpacking plants across the region including Tyson Foods in Norfolk, Nebraska, Smithfield Foods in Denison, Iowa, and Tyson Plants in Waterloo, Iowa, and another in Columbus Junction. In Waterloo, several managers were fired after news of a COVID-19 betting pool among them was discovered. Several other lawsuits have been filed against the company after at least six employees died of the virus at the Waterloo facility. According to the website for the Journal of the National Academy of Sciences, as many as one in 12 cases of COVID-19 in the spring were tied to outbreaks at meatpacking plants. With nearly 500 facilities reporting outbreaks by September and more than 200 workers dying.